Someone told me once that distance... Distance is feeling close to something while knowing that, in reality, you're very far away. When I think about my relationship with God, though, the opposite seems to be true. I know that he never leaves my side, but I feel so far apart from him. Why? It's not for lack of trying on my part. I do everything I can to bring God with me wherever I go. My Bible is always with me outside of my house. Anyone is able to see me carrying it around. I don't shy away from praying in public either. In fact, I make sure that others can see or hear me whenever I pray. I put all this effort into showing others that I'm close to God, but none of it does a thing to change how I really feel. Distant. Am I doing something wrong? Definitely. What do you want, Pablo? I'm a bit preoccupied at the moment. Just thought I'd see if you wanted a corn dog. Get out of my room. Whatever. I'm going to bed. Enjoy your pondering. Just need to get some sleep. Jesus! Well, hey there, friend. You look a bit surprised. Yeah! Uh, you're Jesus? Glad you noticed. But what are you doing in my room in the middle of the night? Is it night? Come downstairs. I'm making coffee. I call this blend the Hebrew. Uh, thanks, baby Jesus. Uh, but are you sure you should be drinking coffee? You're a, uh, the baby. I'm Jesus. Right, right, yeah. Uh, I hope you don't mind me asking, but why are you a baby? My ways are above your ways. My thoughts above your thoughts. But is there like a reason? I was feeling nostalgic today. Anyway, I've come to ask you about something. Yeah, sure, ask, ask anything. You and I, we don't really hang out at all. Just the two of us, I mean. Have you noticed that? I guess I never really thought about it. I go to church every week. I talk about you to my friends. I, I pray in front of other people out loud. I, I share those Facebook statuses that say, share if you love Jesus. I just I thought that's what it meant to be in a relationship with you. None of those things are wrong, but your priorities are a bit backwards. Think of it this way. Imagine that one day, in the very, 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 very far off future, you get married. Now, you love your wife with a passion every second of every day. But for some reason, she only ever reciprocates those feelings when other people are around to notice. Anytime you two are alone, she gives you the cold shoulder. She acts like you don't exist. Your relationship it's only ever real when someone else is there to see it. Would you be satisfied by that? Would you feel close to her? I don't know what to 
say. You don't have to say anything. I only want you to think about it. Uh, well, if, if you've got time now, we could we could hang out here. I've, I've got video games, or we could watch a movie. I've got the passion of the, well, the passion of you on Blu-ray with bonus features and director's commentary. Eh, the book was better. Besides, it's about time that you got out of bed. Get out of bed? We've been downstairs for half an hour. Have we? Wait. Do you mean that all of this has been a- Dream. Hey. I just woke up from the weirdest dream. That's so real though, I could have sworn it was real. What happened? It's complicated. I don't want to talk about it. You want some popcorn? Sure. Thanks, Pablo. No problem. In that moment, my mind was torn in two. It seemed so surreal at the time, the possibility that I had actually spoken to Jesus in that dream. The idea that the God of all the universe would take time to talk to me individually, it would have broken everything that I thought I knew. I was divided between the child and the cynic in me, caught between a hope and a dream. I decided I was ready for change. Turns out, distance isn't so hard to overcome after all. <laughs>